y'all this is my no cook cherry bounce recipe need you a good handful of cherries you want to remove the pits it could be any kind of cherries that you could get quarter cup of sugar I'm using brown sugar you could use white sugar half a cinnamon stick one clove any more than that it'd be kind of funky a tiny pinch a nutmeg that's it and we're going to shake this up get all that cherry juice and that sugar mixed together look at that you can let that sit overnight like that or you can just do it right now Fill that full of liquor. You, you could use your own moonshine. You could go to the store and buy vodka. You could use uh, bourbon, whiskey, rum, anything you want. Sky's the limit. It's good no matter what you use. Shake it up. Now it's better if you let this sit about three or four days. After three days, you want to remove the cinnamon stick and you want to remove the clove. You can leave the cherries in if you want to. But if you don't remove that cinnamon stick and that clove, after three days, it'll start getting crazy funky. Like uh, fireball type stuff. That's good. It's just going to get better with time. After a few days, it's prime. It's ready to drink. That's awesome. And also, this will last forever as long as you change this lid every 90 days. Or you could store it in something else. If you store it in mason jars, you gotta change this lid every 90 days, or else it'll make it taste like metal. But other than that, it'll last forever. That's my cherry bounce recipe. No cook. See y'all later.